parents, you ought to set that early in your families. Your kids, this is a Christian family. We serve Jesus. In my parents' house, there is God. Amen? In teaching children, you got to be real practical. And something I've discovered with this generation is that they want to know why. My generation, we didn't ask why. You, you was, we were scared to ask why because after you got up off the floor, they, they was explaining to you because I said so. That's all the why we needed, okay? But this generation, they really do want to know why. And we need to be able to explain why, which means we got to be people of the word. Talk about things that stand out to you in terms of you being raised as our children of things that were taught to you and things that you caught. It was part taught and caught and reinforced. So it's always you learn something, you try it out, then you get corrected about it, then you learn from seeing your parents. It's this whole cycle that never ends and never stops and still goes today. As you get to adult, when you get those battles and you have to really like use your faith, that's when you realize, well, some of these things were taught and some of them were really caught on. Like when I, my, my mother, for example, prayed all the time. When I mean all the time, all the time. <laughs> Almost to a point, sometimes it used to be kind of scary. You know, when you're a little kid, you, you think something's wrong. Like, why is mom up in the kitchen, like, crying, you know? But really, she's just being in her prayer closet. And so, like, and as I got older, I realized, like, anytime I'm going through something or I'm feeling bad, I just, I just pray. And that's one thing that's caught. I'm just, my mother just, she'll stop. She'll just pray. Or is anything going wrong? Okay, we're going to pray. So that's, I say one of the things I caught on is just praying through my issues, through life. Talk more about how you integrate faith into what you do. I try my best to be a Christian example in my workplace. Um, if people know that sometimes I leave on Wednesday to go to noonday Bible study, or people walk in my office and see all these post-it notes, all these scriptures on my walls, they need to see me living that out Monday through Friday and not cussing out my secretary because she did something wrong. So um, I just try to be a, a person of my word and a person of integrity and so that if I am the only Christian that these people come in contact with, I'm the only Christian lawyer these people come in contact with, I don't make a bad impression on both the profession and both Christians if I might be the only person that they may know that professes to be a Christian. I might just be a branch manager or assistant branch manager to most people, and that is my job title, but when you're a Christian, one of the scriptures that stuck out to me most as a kid with my parents was go out into the world and preach the gospel, and there's so many different ways you can do it. So with my profession, I'm blessed to come across so many people and have conversations or just be that light that brightens up their day. I'm not always that light, but I try to be. I think what we get so mixed up in church that we think because I have faith, every door will swing wide open, you know? And sometimes you gotta kick the doors down. And you, you have to have some type of internal fortitude to walk this thing completely out.